Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will have a look on the masking options like uh, the add bitmap mask and add mask with color selection. Before going uh, into that, I would like to ask a simple question. Uh, which software were you were using before Substance Painter for texture painting? Do you like Substance Painter uh, upon that? Do you feel any other uh, texture painting software is better than Substance Painter for you? Please let me know about that in the comment section. So I would like to start with this masking. Right now I have got uh, some texture painted on this. So I'm going to create a new fill layer for this and give some random color. So preferably I'll give a red color, okay, which is sitting top of all the layers here. So you know what the masking does, but we have some masking which are very unique. One is the bitmap mask. So before going into the bitmap mask, I would like to go for the white mask, okay? Then select that mask, go to the fill, okay? Add fill there and then choose any of this texture like circles and then repeat it, okay? Now if you're able to see, I got this result, right? Now the question is, uh, can we do it in short and that is the answer for this particular tool bitmap mask so i'm going to remove the mask okay and then just click that add bitmap mask and search for a procedural texture here we go we got some textures let me choose this one or maybe this one and then select that texture and then repeat it and then you should be able to see that texture coming on the model and it is as simple as adding a white or black mask then adding a fill and then selecting the texture here from the fill the whole process has been put into a short way in the bitmap mask so you can use that and it's very simple so let me try something else so before going into that i will remove the mask here and then you should be able to see here something so i'll just go here and then search for id and you should be able to see you have ids let's say if you don't have ids then what you need to do is select the texture set settings go to ba bake mesh maps option and then switch off everything and then just only select the id when you click you get the option here and there you can choose the id creation based on the vertex color the material color the file id or the mesh id or the poly group so i'm choosing this mesh id and we have uh, i can choose a random color generator or you can choose a hue shift or the gray scale whatever so i'm choosing the random and then say bake selected texture and then it will bake the texture here which is basically the um, color id of it so i can go back to the material here and you don't see anything great so let me go back to the layers and then choose this tool called um, add mask with the color selection and uh, here you don't have uh, any masking happening by default so what i'm going to do is just choose this option called pick color and then your id has come so you can click on that and then you get the id got selected okay and then uh, you can control the transparency of that mask and if the ids are sort of soft like texture you can control their hardness and tolerance level and then increase their tolerance just like your selection tools in um, photoshop so this is uh, what you can do and then this ma this uh, this layer can be controlled the way you wanted it to be and uh, it is generally applied to the 
set selected set of objects so it's, it's a quick way to uh, add textures to the poly groups